Ken. You may say we're a tight bunch in Merthyr. Down the pits we had to be. Now with the mines closed and the jobs all but gone, we still know how to pull together. That was a fucking waste plan, though. <laughs> Take one of our Merthyr social clubs. Every year they hold a charity boxing event to raise money for a local cause. And the promise of a good night always draws a lively crowd. Oh, let's get ready to rumble! You just want to see us punch each other's heads in? That's why, that's why everyone comes here. You get a phone call off, you want to fight too, and that's where it goes. Like. Everyone who comes in here has had no experience of boxing at all. So they're usually the first time they put gloves on is when they stand up there ready to get in the ring. Yeah. And yeah. then you see all this. <laughs> you see the windmills and the haymakers coming over the top. The fight's just three days away. No. And it's the hottest topic in town. It's fancy having a couple of rounds with me up, man. The Martyrs. Well. Okay, hello. Fuck off. Hi, Josh. Do you want to have um, three rounds with me up the Martyrs? Is this a good cause? All right, babe. Have you seen Kelly round that? Right, Trish, you want to do what? Boxing up the mountains, up yeah? Up the mountains, yeah. And yeah. Bom, bom, bom. What could potentially go wrong with this fight, though? Could knock my fucking teeth out. <laughs> I won't be happy with that. I'm going to have to fix it then the morning, the night. Do you want to cross over, love? Do you want to, do you want to cross the road, no? Go in, run in now, ready for the fight with the martyrs. See, smoke a fag and then I go run in. Isn't it warmer? Come on in. Rachel's one of life's fighters. One, two, She's Merthyr, born and bred. Five, six, one, two. For the last ten years, she's been battling with addiction. Oh. Yeah. And right now, she's winning. Ooh. Oh, fucking ants! Don't crawl on my hand. Voila! Can you see my design the window? Come on in. Don't be shy, your mother was on. <laughs> Rachel used to live with a girlfriend and stepdaughter, but addiction got in the way. That's me. That's my stepdaughter, Aisha, when she was about 15, and that's Tracy. If I could turn back the clock, I'd turn it back to them days. It was, that was the best time of my life, that was. Completely dr drug free. Alcohol free. What went wrong with you? What changed you? Just got in with the wrong crowd, didn't I? Just went downhill. I've always been addicted to something, whether it's been the bandits, drink, drugs, neurosis, college, anything. I've always been addicted to something. Do you know what I mean? Like a while back, I was addicted to church, going to church constantly, going to Bible group constantly. Do you know what I mean? But now I'm trying to just get on the right path. If you want a fresh start, it helps to have a job and somewhere to live. But when you're coming out of prison, they can be hard to come by. <laughs> David's 21 and was released from prison two weeks ago after serving nine months of an 18-month sentence for shop burglary. It's not the first time he's been inside. They call this brown town. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's so how much fucking air the wind's about. Uh, they call it brown town, like. But all that's so we've this chill out dead smoke now, we don't fucking do all that shit and David and his brother Scott used to be in foster care in Cardiff because their mum was in a violent relationship. As soon as I turned 15, coming up to 16, I started running away, coming running back to my mother, running back to my mother. And my mother said to social services, right, something happens to him while he's running away, trying to get back to me, I'm blaming you. And then as soon as he started turning 15, 16, he started doing the same. And we both got back from my mother, like. Be well, for the shit, fucking two months, three months. <laughs> <laughs> three months, I was back in Merthyr, back in jail. <laughs> but I am bothered signing on, I think, since I've been out of jail, because... You never do, or do you? You never really sign on, do you? It's a waste of time. They have me do working links now. I've got to spend two hours on a computer. I don't even know how to use a the computer. They should try and find other access yeah. as you to look like for that. work, yeah. other than a computer. Obviously, sh shit Wait, that happens, doesn't it? What's that? There are more job seekers per job here in Merthyr than anywhere else in Britain. And when you've got a new family to support, finding a job's more important than ever. 
How are you feeling, Leon? Check over. Everything. Sorted. Unemployed Rob and his 18-year-old girlfriend, Leanne, have been together for 10 months. And for nine of those months, Leanne's been pregnant. Oh that is cool, isn't it? And today's the day. The waters broke this morning. But a baby on the way doesn't mean you can skip signing on. Well, I phoned the job centre, saying I, I don't know if I'm going to be there today, just in case anything happened. Yeah. They said, oh, you've got to go in, basically, no matter what, otherwise you can get no money. So I went up there, to think I could have missed, well, could have missed a chance to see my child born. She's got to go up, to be examined and then induced. And it's just a waiting game then. Yep. And then we'll come home with a baby. Fun time. My grandson. <laughs> <laughs> Once the baby comes, Rob and Leanne will go on living with Leanne's man, Lisa. You know this? Doing this fire is making me sick. Come on, what do you want to do? Walk around. Come on, Patso. Robert! <laughs> is he already behind there? Yeah. <laughs> Rob spent most of his childhood in care, and starting a family of his own means a lot. To be a dad, I think, is any, any man's dream, isn't it, really? Like, to have your own child, bring them up, give them a good life. Well, I am, anyway. I'll do what I can. I can't wait. <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? Whew. Happy! Through all Rachel's troubles, she's been friends with Happy. The sexy body, bye! <laughs> I don't know, I bet you could give half of these Merthyr men a run for their money. Oh, I don't know, not at my age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy you crackers, do you know what? Uh, I used to do a see when I was a carer, down in Cardiff. You still a carer, are you? I'm your carer, love, not I? I look after you when you look after me, up. So good I am, I haven't even nicked you. I love him all, I do. He's like my grandpa. When I surround myself with good people like Happy, then I'm in a good place. When I bother with the idiots, then I'm not in a good place. Don't push it too far now. Touch my bloody brain, then. Eh? No, I didn't. You got something in. Get a matchstick and do it. No, we will finish now. Yes. How does your face oh, feel? Lovely. You right? Mwah. Do a nice cup of tea now. Yes. It's Sunday and the Battle of the Martyrs, one of the highlights of Merthyr's social calendar. The beer is chilling, the fighters are psyching themselves up, and the crowd are dressed to impress. It's a massive boxing town. Um, with world champions, European champions, Welsh champions. I think it's in everyone's blood, you know, to, to love the boxing. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! It's Merthyr's annual Battle of the Martyrs. What? Have you been giving any advice? Yeah, don't let her into my kill zone. Rachel's mum, Iris, is her wingman for the day. You're not going to click that. Wingman, ready? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, I know. Can you manage, mum? Yeah, Quick, because I could help up. Go on the other side. Happy, you right? Can you manage, Rev? Come on, box me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to get a lamp tonight. Look at them all. They all look like you know what they're doing. Just telling me now that the girl I'm supposed to be boxing, I'm turned up here. Well, that's you how you were thought. Yeah, she's, got, she's going in the ring. Yeah, I'm going to go in the ring and have a scrap. She got half hour to turn up now, they disqualify her. So if she don't turn up, that means I win and I am going to do nothing. So I'm happy with that. Do you know what I mean? Bertha is the arsehole of the world. Oh, what a lovely arsehole. <laughs> Tell me how that went in there. The nightmare. Enough, it enough. 20 seconds left, jab his head off! 
I think what it is, it's the only way you can fight legally and get away with it. I think that's what it's all about. She didn't do enough because she knew I would smash her all over the place. That's why she didn't do enough. This is Leo, new addition to our family, our own family, finally you can come home. It's always good to have your mum close by when you have your first baby. What colour is your eyes then? All babies' eyes are blue when they're first born. Are they? Mm. It'll change in a couple of weeks. Which arm do you want the baby? Right, oh. He's got hairy ears. Uh, <laughs> hairy ears. <laughs> Started to cry a little bit. Ah. I was saying the head was coming, but I was mainly crying for Jan. Just what she had to go through. So don't do it again. <laughs> Cheers. Now baby Leo's been born, Rob and Leanne have landed a home of their own. Something Rob's never had. I would never let Leo go through what I've gone through. Not a chance. If I got money and it's to do with the, my child, that's where it'll go. I don't care about me. I don't care. I'll starve before he does. It's making me better. Better than the person that I was before. Rob's recently come out of prison after serving three and a half years for robbery and is determined never to go back. Ten months I've been out. And look what's happened. Great. Look what I am now. A house, a child, a partner. My life begins. <laughs> well, it's a living room so far. Getting there. My son's zooming there. It's, everything's everywhere at the moment. Just getting all together. This is ours. Like right, this, I'll fix our mattresses, boy. It's big, wide, isn't it? What's next on Rob's list to uh, to get organised? Job. Get a job. When Ian's dad, Martin, was young, he could leave school and walk straight into the mines. The industry in Wales is gone. Fucking everything's gone. Biggest deal works in the, in, in the world, gone. Yeah, sad, really, when you look at it now. My brother could take home four or five hundred pounds a week in the 70s. You're lucky if you take four or five hundred pounds a week home now. Gone. Everything's gone. But if you're lucky enough to have a job around you, you hold on to it tight. They leave their rubbish anywhere, wouldn't they? Excuse me, ladies. Thank you. Jackie's been working down the bus station for nine years. It's like at that programme, everybody loves Raymond. Randy it's everybody loves Jackie. Her HQ is the ladies' toilets. This is like my office, but it's like a storeroom. Well, I've got three lorries in a car, but you have to come in there behind the door. If you remember the fan club, it's eighteen pound a year. You get a calendar, and you put your name forward, and it takes three years to put on the lorry. So I'm having Jackie Ann, J A K I Ann. I work nine to five, Monday to Friday, and I enjoy it. I have a laugh. They all come in here. They talk to me. And whatever they say to me, don't go no further. I try and help them with their problems. I'm a childminder, cleaner, litter picker, agony aunt, counsellor. I like to be active. I can't stay in the house. I like to be with people. I don't like my own company. Hi, yourself. G says he's to get any job, even to work at McDonald's, you need C's, grades and all that. I was lucky to get a job, I didn't sit one of my GCSEs, I didn't. I wish I did now, because then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be scrubbing floors for a living, do you know what I mean? When I was in school, I used to just think it'd be funny to have people laughing with you, but not realising they're not really laughing with you, they're laughing at you, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Because all them passed their exams and this clown didn't.
For the last four years, as part of a recovery, Rachel's been at college. Now she's in a final year of a B.Tech in business management. But you need to be imaginative as a student to make a little money stretch a long way. I feel like one of them people in Chicago crossing the road with all tins. There's um, CDs and um, clothes and things in that one. To make sure there's no sand bricks in them when, I, when you weigh young that been there. OK, it's 50 pence a kilogram on the clothing. Yep. That's 12.5. Go on, eh? That's six pound. Heidi. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your help, love. I need to buy my college things now. I bought a new book, as you can see, with all different compartments for different lessons. And if Rachel can hold it all together for one more term, she can apply to go to uni. They didn't think I'd complete the first year, and I've shocked them, because I'm doing the second year. And they only thought I'd do level two, and I'm doing level three. That's how clever I am. You love college. I love college, yeah, I do. I do love college. Why do you like it? Because it gives me routine, it gives me structure, it gives me something to get up in the morning, something to do. Because there's no jobs in that about, is there? And the jobs that are about, you need the qualifications for. So by going to college, hopefully I'll get a job at the end of it then, isn't it? All right, mate. You want to handle them trolleys? If you give me a job, I'll do them twice as fast. And no, I don't mean a blow job. Why do you call it a blow job when they don't blow? It should be called a suck job, shouldn't it? It's a blow job. <laughs> but changing your life isn't ever easy, especially when your old life is all around. Since coming out of prison four weeks ago, Dave is back together with his on-off girlfriend, Shannon. Parties, big parties, big parties. <laughs> We've been up fucking two nights now. Two nights, making a third one. Nope. Where's we keep going now? Till Monday. Yeah. Uh, so nice. What is that? These. Yeah. Valiums. MSJs. But that's what people need to cope. How many times have you been to prison? Nine, ten times. And my brother, the good boys, they, they, they all going through college, you know, they all trying to fucking make some of it, eh? I wish I could have a job like that. No one give me a job. What's that? Criminal records and. The only option I got for money is doll or do my own thing. But the first parents I was in with, I was at over Romney, they were, they were good to me, yeah. like, very good to me. And it, when, first when I went first care of him and I was playing fucking, I used to fucking run away and I, he said, I can guarantee you, you'll be in prison all, back in and out of prison all your life. And I was like, ah, no, I won't. Five years later, the other day I seen him, and I said to him, I said, what you said to me was right. Since I left there, I've been in and out ever since. Coping with life on the outside can get harder with every term you serve. I suppose adjusting back to society, you know, because you've got everything done for you, innit? And, you know, it's no worries in there. You know, you've got three meals a day, you get a little job in there, and then when you come out to your end, it's like sleep back to square one where you've got no job, no help, and you've got a criminal record. And if you're going to leave your past behind, Rob! You've got to change your present. Today, Rob's got a job interview. On CV. I can fold this up, can't I? It doesn't have to be neat, does yeah, it? Put it up. Just go to the house from there, get changed. My clothes, my interview clothes. It's appearance, eh? I mean, it shows that you are willing to commit. You do anything to get a job. Nervous or no nervous. I've left my CV there. 
left my sieve in the house. Rob's interview is in Barry, an hour and a half from Merthyr. And if you haven't got a car, the only way is on the train. How's the train coming up? Has the train already gone down? Love, eh? You missed it. Oh. And to add to the stress, Rob's missed his train and the next one's not for half an hour. Fuck, 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 fuck. What are we gonna do? Can you still whistle? Good boy! He comes on my bus in the morning and he's learned how to whistle. Hey, Ellen, you seen this then? Jackie's had some bad news. Oh, my it's God. Finally, it's finally in here. The council are closing the public toilets and her job goes with it. And it's not only us, it's the library, social services. Oh, it's disgusting. Get a lot of them out. Council cuts. Oh, hell. Everybody's going to miss me, they said. Yeah? Arnie will be back. I'll be round. Ta-da, my love. Thanks. I'm going to hand a CV into Poundland, and I'm going to have a look around, see what's around. My personal qualities are trustworthy, responsible, can work as a team, can work on my own, can work to a deadline, committed, work hard for what I want, good at setting targets, good at reaching my targets, good at working under pressure, can work unsupervised. Hobbies, socialising. I love reading true novels, novels and autobiography. I love to spend time with my loved ones. I never go to the toilet, but I have to go today. It's very spotless, there, isn't it? And they're shutting. Never. Yes. Are they closed on the other one? Yes, Saturday. I'm employed. Never. Our valleys may be beautiful, but they also stand between us and the jobs. So for our kids to get on, they've got to get out. Rachel's pinning her hopes for the future on an education. I go to college. I've passed all my courses. I think half of them just think I'm just saying it. Because the first thing some of them said was show me the certificates, but obviously I haven't got the certificates yet, do you know what I mean? When I do have the certificates, I'm getting a photocopy and sticking them all around town. People think, oh, because I was an idiot, like all them years ago, that I'm still the same person now, but I know. People do change, do you know what I mean? Most of them would be a psychiatric hospital rocking if they lived my life. Just wanted to numb everything, and I certainly didn't want to feel the pain, man. Do you think that's why there's so many people here who do take drugs? Yeah, because loads of them got bad, ex bad experiences and that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But it's how you handle them, because we could all just think, oh, shit, our lives are crap, do you know what I mean? A year ago, when tragedy struck Rachel's family, she needed all the support she could get. Rachel's younger sister, Joanne, and her four-month-old baby were found dead in their flat. Nobody knows how or why they died. That's the day she gave birth to Harper. Literally just had Harper. That's the last picture I took of Harper in our pram. This don't make sense. It really doesn't. Because we don't know why either of them died. 27, that's all she was, and four months the baby was. It makes you think worse things, eh? do you know what I mean? Was that baby there for days suffering? Was my sister there for days suffering, you know? Did my sister know the baby died? Did she not know the baby died? Do you know what I mean? You know, there's the last picture I took my sister. Outside with my sister, and she wouldn't smile. I said, Joe, quick, I gotta go back to college, please smile. She said, I'm not feeling very well. I said, just smile and I'll leave you go. And I was there. That's the last picture I took. I hate the fact that she's not here. I do, I hate it. There's nothing I can do about it, isn't it?
Across town, Rob's back from his interview. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can I you? Show you pictures a minute ago. I was talking to him. Oh, I love I'm busy. saying it right there. Oh. I need my dad a job. Did you get it? What are you saying? I got a high chance. Get a job and buy me some trainers, Daddy. I'm gonna buy you some Air Maxes, boy. You buy me some trainers. <laughs> yeah. Buy me some shoes. <laughs> Daddy, get you a job. Really? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being late for the interview, Rob's got a job trial at the sports shop in Barry. Everything okay, yeah? Yes, thank you. Any problems, just give us a shout. You right there? Yeah? I'm all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We're actually working for my money. It's hard, especially when you've got a criminal record. So, someone like my manager will give me a job or give me an opportunity. So, I ain't gonna mess it up. I gotta go shoot there now because I think I've been longer than my dinner break. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, Dave. How's it going, guys? Ed? My mother stresses me out no end of the time, honest to God, she do. Tomorrow would have been Rachel's sister's birthday, and her mum, Iris, is in a bad way. Come on, then, let's go and get her. Hello, All right, love. Rachel is tracking her down and taking her home. Don't be sorry now, come on. Go on, son. I know you're drunk, mum. You pissed I'm or sorry. drunk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my baby's birthday tomorrow. I know, it's your baby's birthday tomorrow. Don't cry now, come on. When I'm sober, right? Yeah. It hurts so much. But it still hurts when you're drunk because you're still crying. No. All right then, so I tell you what, I'll go and buy some heroin now and right? No. Because no it, way. Yeah, because no it hurt way. me less when I smoke it, when it hurt me less no than way. what it does no when way. I drink. No well, way. there we are then. What you just said is nonsense. I know that, love. I know I know. She would be 28 tomorrow. 28. That's what she said to me, right? I don't want to be 30, Mum, she said. And then what did you say? I don't want to be 60. I, I don't, don't want to have be a party. 60, she said. I, I said, I don't want a party. I said, well, I may not even be here. I said, it's not only like 59. Oh, and she said to me, that, no, she said to me, yeah, Don't say that, Mum. She said, I can't live without you. I can't live without you. And I can't live without you. That's not fair. Look at this, clown. Oh, mate, pull over! Pull over, it's the police! I want to check your license. Pull into the bus station, please. Thank you very much, sir. You have a nice day. <laughs> oh, Mum, I made you laugh for five minutes, didn't I? But there we are then. I said to him, pull over us, the police. Did you hear him indicate him as well? <laughs> While most of us are born here, there are some who choose to make Merthyr their home. What did you say? No. How about like you, my? Nana. Your kiss for Nana? Jackie grew up in Basingstoke, but moved to Merthyr nearly 30 years ago to be close to her family. All right, Bert. Toilet is closed in Saturday. I know that, dear. So, yeah. Will you miss me? Hey. Will you miss me? I would miss her. Thank you. I'm glad someone will. Well, we suggested 20p to use the toilets, and I suggested the taxi drivers pay five pound on their license. Maybe you have to renew it every year, and they have a free fob, but nothing come of it. They're just not interested. They had it in their heads to close the toilets, and that's what they've done. From Monday, there'll be no public toilets in the bus station. 
I'm not your friend anymore. You won't take my full wage already. Rob's just got his first wage packet, and he's taking the Anne out for the night. That's why I'm treating her. Do you know what I mean? She deserves a night out. The town that she's living now. That's why Nanny, Nanny McPhee, right? <laughs> Doing my best for us. Am I right? We didn't really have much of a chance to get away. As soon as we met, look what happened, Lisa. Bob, you must go and get ready for bed now, man. You've been taking a fucking half hour. You haven't got the eyeliner in on yet. Hello, oh, man. Women these days, isn't it? Terrible. So look. She's not finished, man. Go so away. Go away. I didn't mean this would not take this long. You should know. Oh, so you got to look better than anybody else. Yeah, oh, girls. will you shut up? The girls. <laughs> Across town, David's on the run from the police. He's wanted in connection with another commercial burglary. So, he's been asking about you as well. Me? When they went busting my house, they went into the bedroom. They wanted to know where you lived to see if they could find me. Being blamed for a shop. They've took a trainer, they're just waiting on fucking forensic. They've been to my house to look for the other trainer. They could pick me up any time and lock me up for if I got a warrant out for me, like. But David's main concern is getting a commitment from Shannon before he goes. Would you visit me? Would I visit you? In prison? Of course I would. I'd write you letters. I'd, well, you'd have to ring me. But once you're in jail and you've got a missus, Constant thinking. Right. Get it into your head now, right? I'm not going to go behind your back when you were in jail. I told you I was committed to the relationship, first of all. And I'm going to stick to it. Try and sort things out with the... So when I'm in there, I know I'm sorted. I know I'm looked after. Because I've got no one else to rely on out there. We all need someone to stick by us, whether it's a partner or family. Sharing ups and downs makes it a whole lot easier. You're not going taller than me, you fuck that. Put the foster's can next to that heel, go on. Put the foster's can next to that heel. If heel, it'd be the same size. Well, no, you're all in high heels. You look fucking pretty, I'm fucking... You're just showing off. Where's I'll text my mother number now if, if she needs to get hold of me. But so you please come early for me tonight. Do you think you'll ever stop going back to jail? Me? Yeah, I don't want to go back. Don't want to go back. I, I'm thinking about going to college, to be honest. Everything goes all right now in court and all that. I, I'm going to go to college, am. College. What am I going to do? Mechanic. Sometimes you don't know what you've got until it's nearly gone. I just can't leave her alone, like, she's got, she's got her hold of me. How long does a girl give the boyfriend before she doesn't wait any longer? All depends what fucking type of girl you got on eh? Hopefully I've got the right one who will stick by me. He wore black and I wore white. He would always win the fight, bang, bang. He shot me down, bang, bang. I hit the ground, bang, bang. That awful sound, bang, bang. My baby shot me down. David has no choice but to hope that Shannon will still be there when he gets out. It's Jackie's last day at the public toilets. Very mixed emotions. These toilets are closing, and I'm breaking my heart because I'm leaving here. Luckily, someone brought me a bottle of vodka. That'd be fucking gone tonight. <laughs> Silly cow I am.
nine years. Well, I ain't worth checking the toilet rolls. There's nobody's coming in here in the morning. I don't know why I'm mopping the floor. But I don't want them talking about me when I go. Oh, that dirty bitch never washed the floor when she left. I gotta find a jam jar now, because I got I don't think I got another bloody vase. Can't wait to get home and get my fucking boots off. You've gone to the pub, she have. Here she is. I love you. You do love you too. You've oh, you've already been to get the balloons and everything, yeah. have you? And I bought you something else. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. Hold on tight. Oh man, that's stunning. Rachel and her man are going to Joanne's grave. They've got some family news to share with her. Where do you want to put your flowers by? I don't mind them by the side, but there is the best, I think. She loves balloons, Joanne. Well, you're doing well. <laughs> she passed all her exams, she did. She did. I did, Joe. Hey, cap and gown, babes, cap and gown. She be so jacked. She be the one that be shocked in your corner. I'm gonna have to run in a minute. Baby Leo's doing well, and the house is almost ready. But the promise of a part time job means Rob's run into problems with his benefits. Guess what the job centre have said to Rob? Kenzo, get down. They're trying to tell him if he's working 16 hours, he's got to sign off because it's full time. I was, uh, was it full time, part time? It's a part time. When I was mean, 16 hours, it's a last class is full time. And you know, they, they weren't going to let me sign today. I mean, they're going to stop my benefits. Just like that. What do you think about that? I think I was fucking stupid. 16 hours is near enough. Gonna have to give me a full time job. Otherwise, I say I can't do it. Oh. Well, it's best to get off, get to work, don't it? Right then, let's do it then. Then you're going to the job centre. Most jobs are part time. I don't understand why they're punishing young people for not getting work when there's no work there to get. It's different if they went downtown tomorrow and there was 600 jobs going. But that's not going to happen, is it? I wouldn't like to be 16, 17 or 18 now. It's like we're in limbo. And something's got to give, isn't it? David's back in prison. He pleaded guilty to robbing a shop and was sentenced to 18 months. Prison boy got out one day to find his true love had gone away. When he asked the reason why, in the words she did reply. Dig my grave and dig it deep, place a rose upon my feet. Trooped I'll delve upon my chest to show the world I did my best. So all you girls bear in mind, prison boys are hard to find. So if you find one, love him true, cos prison boy will die for you. I had 18 months, babe, I'm gutted. I've got eight months left. And when I'm out, I'm staying off the drugs. They're no good for me, babe. When I get out, I'm going to put a bond down on a house. Time for me to move out. Need to get my life on track. But the main thing is getting you back in my life. Let me know what you think about us. Love from Lil Di. How does that make you feel? When I read the first, I cried. He was, he was an amazing boyfriend. Don't get me wrong, he could have his uh, tempers, like, and shout and whatever. I'd be the same. We were both as bad as each other if no one we got into an argument, but apart from that, he was great. He was lovely. He go down the wrong path. I'll try leading him into the good man, to the right man, like, and he just won this son. I don't know, I don't think he, I don't think he would be a future for me and him. 
I don't want a life where he's in and out of prison. I need to tell him something, so he needs to ring me or book me a visit. Look after yourself in there, babe. Hope to hear from you soon. I'll bring photos down then when I come down. Love you. That does it. What are you going to tell him when you visit him? That, um... I've... I'm in a relationship with someone else now. If he asks a word, that I'll just tell him. And that I'm pregnant. See how he takes it. I don't think he's going to take it very well. But he's going to have to deal with it. Because if he didn't uh, do what he did in the first place, it could have been me and him right now. But no. He chose to be stupid. Give me the keys to the house. I'll go down now and do a bit of parking. And then come back. With Rob's job not working out, he and Leanne have decided to give up the house. They're worried about the bills. Everything was sorted when we had the house. Probably we still in, you know. They wouldn't give him a full-time contract. He needs tw at least 24 hours, because them being a couple and, and, and the baby to claim um, working tax credit, and they couldn't offer him um, a regular 20, um, 24 hours. What have you decided to do then, Rob? Save money up for deposit on a house closer to home. I'll go in the car as it is. I'll go in the car as it is. For the time being, they'll be staying at Lisa's. And with space tight, some of the furniture's got to go too. For you? You want about recycling? No, I don't. Thank you. It's not easy starting over in Merthyr especially when you're 52. But whatever happens, we find new ways to survive. What, what they're giving you in the food bank? I don't know, it's cereals, tins, chocolate biscuits, cheese biscuits, tea bags, milk, hot dogs. I just can't get used to being home. I really can't. I hate it. I've been putting CVs everywhere. On the Indie Jobs Merthyr. Merthyr Jobs Centre, even South Wales Police I went on. About PCSO. But they're not taken on either. I heard there's jobs at the meat factory, but I'm sorry, that is one place I couldn't work. Because I love animals. But you can't keep a good woman down. That. A pair of jeans and a pair of shoes. I'm going on a date, first time in 11 and a half years. Well, I don't know if it is a date, date, or a friend date because he's into Eddie Stobart as well so this like date is going to be fun tomorrow I hope and these good night god bless I won't see you again we are fighters around here always have been and our greatest strength knowing how to look out for one another where is she now? Is she on her way? She has got no idea that I'm here today. Iris is celebrating because Rachel's got into university. You do make me proud, very proud. That's okay.
next time? What happens when you're skint and you've got no place to call home? Bananas, more yogurts, cherry bakewells, and everything's in date. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Out and about, wild and free. And Prince of Wales and can't even turn up one day. You're all trying to get into the building. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hong Kong, Hong Kong.